Faith and I am going to show you how to do a front facing out carry using a woven wrap and this carry is going to be sort of like a ring sling kangaroo carry but we're going to tie the wrap like we would for Robin's hip carry. So you'll use the same size that you do for Robin's which for most people is a four or a three. I'm also going to show you how to use up extra length if you're doing this with a longer wrap. So the first thing that I am going to do is fold my entire wrap in half lengthwise and I'm going to line up the middle markers and then fold the whole thing in half so that we have like a pocket. And then I'm going to take the middle markers and I'm going to lay it right over my shoulder so that way the rails or edges of the wrap are towards my neck and the fold is towards the outside of my shoulder and you can bunch it up on top of your shoulder a little bit if you want. And the next thing I'm going to do, so I have the center of my wrap on my shoulder, I'm going to reach around back and I'm going to grab the tail that's behind me I'm going to hold the rails individually with a finger in between and sort of flap it a little bit as I bring it to the front. And that's just going to make sure that it lays nice and flat across my back. Now I'm going to bring this across my body in front up towards my shoulder. And then the tail that's hanging down, I'm going to fold it over and toss it to the back. So now, for the one that's coming over my shoulder, it's folded and all of the rails or edges are still towards my neck and the fold is towards the back. So now I have this tail hanging down in front and a longer tail hanging down in back. And now with this one in back, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one, where I'm going to grab the rails individually with a finger in between and flap it a little bit as I bring it to the front so that way it lays nice and flat across my back. And now these two tails, I'm just going to loosely tie a half knot right around my belly button. And now this pouch here is going to work just like a ring sling, how we would do a kangaroo carry. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to separate the two layers. I want to make sure that this twist point up here is up really high on my shoulder. So that way when I pop the baby in, it may come down just a little bit. So I'm going to separate these two layers here. And right now I already have some slack in the inside one. And I want to tighten that up. So I'm going to follow it along through the loop and just find where that slack is and pull it through. So I want the inside layer of the wrap to be nice and snug against my body. And then some room in the outside one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the baby. I'm going to use a doll for this video. And I'm going to start him up nice and high on my opposite shoulder with his back against my body. And I'm going to fold his legs up in front of him. His knees will point slightly outward and his feet will cross up in front of his face. And then I'm going to pull out just the outside layer of the wrap, keeping that inside layer of the wrap between his body and mine. And I'm going to lower him in bottom first. And where the fold of the wrap is, is going to be where his bottom is going to end up. So now I have the baby in the wrap. His bottom is the lowest point, so he still has that nice curved spine positioning, and his feet are folded up right up in front of his face. He's going to be eating his toes, but that's fine. Babies like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is supporting him with one hand. I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and snug. So if I need to tighten either layer, you want to make sure that the outside layer comes all the way up nice and high on his body, and that it's nice and snug. So we're going to go ahead and tighten through the wrap, through this loop here, get everything nice and snug, and then we can go ahead and retie the knot once we have everything snugged up. And you can tie right here at your belly button again. Or if you're using a long wrap, you can always cross them instead and tie in back. And that'll help you use up some extra length if you need to. So this is a great way to do a front facing out carry using a woven wrap. Again, you'll probably need a size four or three, but you can tie in back with a longer wrap. And this functions very similarly to a ring sling kangaroo carry. One thing to keep in mind anytime you do a forward facing carry in any carrier is to just watch your baby for signs of overstimulation. If the baby becomes fussy or frantic, you'll just wanna take them out of the carrier and turn them around into a carry that faces them inward. Um, so that is that. This is the Robin's hip carry ring sling kangaroo sort of hybrid, I guess. Front facing out in a woven wrap. Thank you.